I'm Michael Sutter. I'm an architect. I'm coming from Israel. In Israel, I'm designing uh, normally the most uh, crazy offices. And I'm here because I designed uh, a, a Google offices, uh, two, two offices, one in Haifa and one in Tel Aviv, and a large uh, Facebook offices. And also, uh, I would say, most multinational companies that are coming to Israel. And uh, we are, I think, the most creative uh, designers in uh, this field of uh, work, workspace. Uh, I think that uh, if there's a, a, a part of a population that uh, needs needs a kind of uh, uh, helping to be in a higher level, in a, it can be in any any kind of eye. Uh, it's uh, always good that uh, powerful people will help uh, another kind of uh, people to bring them up to empower them. I believe that uh, you know the uh, the situation that uh, first of all in Israel we had the prime minister in the past, and we have a lot of uh, women who are CEOs of uh, companies, huge companies. And uh, the situation right now that uh, all the general managers of the banks in Israel are women. So it becomes that uh, everything that used to be uh, uh, men's jobs became women's jobs. And right now you don't see the difference. The only place I see it that right now in the high tech company, which I'm dealing with, that uh, the population is that uh, 80 percent, between 80 to 90 percent are men. So we have like between 10 to 20 percent are women. And because in Israel the high tech right now is last years is booming a lot. We are a startup nation now, and that uh, high tech is the I would say the the leader of uh, all the industry in Israel. So it's very important that uh, more and more. Uh, women will be in, involved in high-tech uh, companies. The, the situation of uh, women uh, uh, all over the world is uh, in a way similar, but in the West world, uh, I believe that uh, women uh, became more and more equal. I, 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 I cannot say that I am familiar with the situation in the situation in India. So sometimes it's a kind of stories that I'm hearing. I'm th I was saying that uh, uh, I'm not familiar with really the situation in India. And uh, I know that in Israel right now, women are more and more became uh, equal f to a man. I'm, I just heard uh, stories that uh, w uh, women in uh, India cannot take a cab uh, at night alone in a taxi, which is for me a story, I, I'm not, uh, it's not a fact. This situation is not, uh, you cannot find in Israel. Uh, women can go everywhere, anytime, with a cab, without a cab, and uh, they feel safe. And uh, uh, in, in the business, what's going with uh, women in India, really I don't know. Again, as I was uh, telling you that uh, in all the position in Israel, from the ministers, uh, prime minister, ministers, and the uh, CEOs of the largest companies, you can find uh, a lot of women there. Uh, I'm familiar with this uh, because in my work, I'm uh, designing those IT companies, and you feel it especially in the toilets, you know, the ratio, because for women, you need to give more toilets. And for me, it's easier no nowadays because uh, so many men, for men you have to give less so we are saving some square meters in this situation but everybody is dreaming that uh, the amount of uh, women in high tech company will be more and more why it happened I believe that uh, it, I believe that it, it's education most of the women till now we're uh, t uh, studying uh, psychologic literature and etc and less computer mathematics physics etc and i believe that uh, 
in the future because uh, the IT company right now are the the most uh, powerful, successful companies in Israel, and they are looking for new people to work. You know, we are a small country, and so many people, uh, so many companies, and they are fighting for the same people to work with. So they need to invent more ways to to uh, add more people to work, and I believe. Part of it can be women. Another part that is special to Israel is religious people. You know, religious people in Israel, they are not working. And, uh, and I believe that they are, the IT companies right now are putting a lot of energy in order to find more women and religious people to work in those IT tech companies. I am here because of my wife. She is uh, really... Uh, uh, familiar with this conference and she organized a lot of women and uh, it was very interesting for me to be here and to see this uh, kind of women uh, power that really when you are here you feel it and uh, it's a very nice experience when I was sitting there in the hall and listening to the stories of uh, those women uh, I was surprised and today especially the, the lady from Sudan that uh, she is 85 years old and to hear it, it she was really inspiring and all the ladies that uh, I heard it was a big surprise and I enjoyed it very much.